All right, well, happening now, the memorial for former First Lady Rosalind Carter is underway in Atlanta. Of course, she passed away last week at the age of 96 years old. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are both there at that tribute ceremony in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, some other former First Ladies there as well, including some Republicans such as Melania Trump, even Laura Bush. Also, Vice President Kamala Harris is in attendance as well. Also, former President Bill Clinton and his wife, another former First Lady, Hillary Clinton. And of course, her husband, former President Jimmy Carter, making a rare appearance there as well. You know, he's last been in hospice care for the last 10 months and hadn't really been seen in public since September. He's there with all four of the Carter's children, Jeff, Chip, Jack, and Amy. So definitely, you know, nice to see him there. You know, Stephanie, a lot of people have been speaking about Rosalind Carter the last week or so about how she really transformed the role of what a first lady is. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy Carter, he served just one term in office, but a lot of his legacy and Rosalind Carter's legacy happening after they were out of the White House, including in 2002, Jimmy Carter was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Rosalind Carter always by uh, her husband's side throughout all of this. A huge part of the Carter Foundation, which continues to give back. Of course, the Carter family, also known for their ongoing work uh, with Habitat for Humanity as well. That's right. Uh, Rosalind spending most of her, you know, her life working alongside her husband on humanitarian projects and a big advocate for mental health reform and destigmatizing mental illness. Definitely lots of work in their community through their lifetime, so for sure. We've been together over seven decades, knew each other pretty much their entire lives, yeah. both from the tiny town of Plains, Georgia. In fact, after their uh, four years in the White House, they moved back there to continue to give back to that community and really the entire world as well. And, you know, this is day two of the three-day schedule of public events celebrating Rosalind and her, her life there. And she actually... You know, it started on Monday and she laid in repose. So the community is really just coming together to pay their respects. And of course, great to see Jimmy Carter there at the age mm -hmm. of 99, 99 years old in hospice care. But of course, you know, he's going to be there. Yeah. We have more news after the break. Stay tuned. This is KTSM 9 News at Noon.